So, my name is Joel, also known as A Soul Called Joel. And, um, for a while now, my life has been all about grounding, healing, and transformation through music, poetry, and meditation. I am a Grammy-nominated musician, a poet, and a certified meditation teacher. And I'm very thankful and fortunate um, to be asked today by TikTok to share an offering with you guys for Mental Health Awareness Month. And I could think of nothing more fitting than um, this practice that has been a very powerful component in my own mental health. It actually started when um, I was experiencing a deep heartbreak, you know, as a 19, 20 year old. A girl broke up with me and I couldn't sleep for several months. And I kept hearing journaling from different people in my life. You know, you go to the coffee shop, someone's saying journal. You go to the game, someone's talking about journaling. And so one night when I couldn't sleep, it was maybe 3 a.m., I grabbed my Mead notepad from, I don't know, one of my courses. And I just began to write everything that was in my mind. I just put it all on the page. There was no objective or no focus. It was just a release. And after filling up maybe a dozen or so pages, I felt oh, like a weight was released off of my shoulders. And for the first time in almost two months, I slept like a baby. I woke up the next morning and my life hadn't changed much, but I felt better. I felt lighter, like I wasn't carrying all those things with me. And so from there, I began to um, journal often and journal about everything in my life, not just my dating life. But anything I was having difficulty with, I'd take it to the page. Whether that was my career, school, family, or other relationships. And that naturally unfolded into the practice that I'm going to share with you today. Um, there's a framework called RISE. This is the RISE journal. So if you guys want to follow along with me today, we're doing meditative journaling. And this practice um, is available for you to download for free. You can get the digital version of this journal at my website, um, soulcalledjoel.com. I recommend you go there and download it for free so you can follow along. But um, let's go through the acronym. So the R stands for release. We'll take a moment to clear our mind for about five or so minutes. I'll play some music and we'll do a stream of consciousness writing much like I did that first night. And the idea here is to clear your mind Many times we get stuck in loops and patterns, kind of like, um, you know, you have a song that you don't really enjoy, but it's stuck in your head, right? And, you're, and it's going and going. And a lot of times we'll do that with thoughts and feelings and emotions that we don't um, enjoy or prefer. So it's a bit of a mind hack to do the release. When you write, you complete the song, so to speak. You give it a place to go. Right? You're not just in the hook, but you play it through to the ending. And after we have released, we will go into the inquire portion, which is where, now that we've cleared our space, right, our energetic canvas, our mind, now we're no longer stuck in the pattern of worry or um, a rude thing or an offensive statement we heard somebody say to us. Now we are more in a centered, grounded state and from this state, we can ask, what do we really need? What do we really want? What do we really believe, right? And so I call this simply asking heart, H-E-A-R-T, questions. Because in our society, we're so over-focused on our mind. We forget about our heart. Or for some, you could always substitute spiritual here. But when we ask heart questions, we remember that value in our heart space and we bring balance back to our lives by not just being stuck in the mind. 
So we'll take a few breaths here to clear any resistance we feel, because oftentimes we'll still be in a defensive state or we'll be triggered by some of the things that we've released. And then from there, we'll go to S for self-awareness. Instead of immediately trying to answer those questions from our, from our mind, right, which is usually playing a lot of those old patterns, right? Those unworthy patterns, you're not good enough, why? Why do you think you can do that? You're no good, right? Believing those things. We're not gonna allow that to rule the stage today. We're gonna take a few moments to breathe, let go of that energy, and instead of answering the question, we're gonna wait for an answer to arise. And that connects us to our subconscious mind. And from that space, sometimes it'll show up as an image. You can feel free to draw if you have your journal at home. Or write whatever answers may come. But the idea is to listen to our heart so that when we are in places where people are saying ugly things to us or they can't see us, we have the ability to tune in and tap into our own inner knowing and our own confidence and trust of who we are and what we know to be true about ourselves. And lastly, we will move to the E for empower. We will empower ourselves by setting conscious intentions and affirmations. A lot of people use goals, and goals are great when you're talking about productivity and tangible things. But I find that in life, with all of the complexities and nuance, Intentions, pure intentions, are far more effective in increasing our well-being and self-regulation and mental health than goals. So if our intention were to be a compassionate friend, to have an open heart and to greet each interaction with love, then I'm not worried about an outcome. It's all about me showing up in that capacity. And once I'm in that capacity, maybe I'll set an affirmation that will help me help support that, right? So, I am love, I am a compassionate friend, I am a safe space, might be some affirmations I would set to go along with that. So, um, I'm going to share a poem. And then we will start. And we're going to use this extra about five minutes or so for those who are coming in now or falling in to um, download the journal if you want or pull out your journal or just get comfy and cozy wherever you are, right? At home, at work, maybe you're out at the park, I don't know. But this poem is um, a bit of a meditation in itself. It's just something to calm, relax, and kind of hmm, align our intentions with self-love. This is, I am the love of my life. I was born a soul in wholeness. But as I got older, the world tried to break me. Every day I was at odds with the programming that I absorbed from my youth into the unconscious mind. It was so loud I couldn't hear myself. So I withdrew to nature. The volume of all others departed and I heard a sweet voice from the seat of my soul say, I am love and liberation. I am light. I the love of my life. Even my obstacles are made perfectly as tools for my growth, through pain to love. For my purpose is not to outshine another. My purpose has always been to do my share in the shining of a soul. For as one shines, so does another. And as I am able to see myself more clearly, it becomes far easier to see you too. 
isolation allows us to embrace the freedom of self. For loneliness is an idea cherished by those who do not like the sounds within. If only they would tarry, they would see that their true voice would arise in sweet harmony with the song of the ages, the song of the universe that says of all, in all and through all, I am the love of my life. I am the love of my life. <laughs> blessings, blessings, everyone. Okay, so that was my poem about self-love. I am the love of my life. And now, if you are ready, we will start with the first portion of the Rise Journal Challenge. The release. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your beautiful comments and compliments. If you'd like to hear that, um, you can find it uh, wherever music is available. Just search for a soul called Joel like you see it in my profile. And I am the love of my life. Now to start the Rise Journaling. In this release portion, we will do a stream of consciousness writing. Don't judge what's coming out or what's coming up. Just become aware of it and write it down on the page or type. Or if you are a doodler or a drawer, you can draw what you feel. But for five minutes, we are gonna allow whatever comes up to flow without judgment. And during that five minutes, I am going to put a timer up here and I'm gonna play a little music. So here we go, dear ones. On your mind, write it down and let it go now. Remember to breathe, you wear your heart on your sleeve. It's okay to. now
with it. Because that's okay too. Just release Release it now self-doubt yes let it go we've got about 40 seconds left dear ones just giving you a heads up so you can slowly wrap up I'm seeing <laughs> so many beautiful releases okay dear ones now that we've had a moment to release we will move on to the next step in the rise framework for inquiry we'll ask hard questions we're not going to rush to um, let our monkey mind, right, or those patterns, or that anxiety rule the day. This is all about growing in self-awareness and um, the ability to self-regulate, regulate, excuse me, and reconnect with our truth of who we are. Because much of our struggle and our anxiety is derived from trying to fit in a box that doesn't belong to us. It belongs to someone else. So, there are a few examples of some heart questions that we can ask, like, how is my heart, right? Or what is my heart longing for? I'm sharing these examples so that you have an idea of what a heart question looks like. You can ask this one of these two, or one that is all your own. Maybe something came up as you were releasing onto the page about a particular part of your life or your experience that um, is leading you to a different inquiry. Um, but before we ask, this is meditative journaling, so it's all about self-regulating along the way. So we will set the intention with a few deep breaths here. May I be available to witness what I've never witnessed before about myself so that I may heal and grow. So, before we write our heart question, let's take a moment to realign ourselves with this intention here. To see ourselves in a new light, so that we can move out of our old pattern of hurt and anxiety and into more self-confidence, fulfillment, and greater well-being. So, let's take three breaths here. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And 
and out. Last breath here. Breathe in. And out. And now, as we are grounded and centered, ask whatever question feels strongest to you, for you, right now. You can write it down in the space provided in the Rise Journal or on your own journal. Give everyone a moment to write here. I see several questions coming up. And I want you to know towards the end, after we complete this process, I'll try to open it up for a few questions. All right, dear ones, that's it for the inquiry stage. And of course, if you have more to write, continue to write. This process is all about trusting yourself and your own process and your own timing as well. So, the self-awareness portion is about creating space to break old mental patterns and observe what feelings, images, or perspectives arise. We're not going to write any ideas or answers to that question that we just asked, whether you asked, what is your heart longing for? Or what does your heart want you to know? We're going to take a moment here to create space Right, create space in our process between the asking and the doing because the mind is always on ready alert to break into some of those old patterns of anxiety and fear or just something that isn't serving us. But here we're going to take a few deep breaths and wait for an answer to arise. Sometimes it can be very clearly stated in our inner mind. Sometimes it shows itself as an image, maybe a hug, a warm embrace between you and a close friend. But whatever it may be, we're going to make space for it now. And if you don't hear an answer in this moment, then that's okay too. <laughs> what you can do is write in the space provided for this section. I don't hear the answer in this moment, but I trust that my heart will speak when it is ready. So. Let us take a moment to breathe. We'll have three more deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. We're just creating a space for the answer to find us. Inhale again. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Now in the space provided, you can write whatever answer may have come or draw. Or if there wasn't an answer, simply right. I don't hear the answer in this moment, but I trust that my heart will speak when it is ready.
see. Okay, I'm seeing some people say that I'm frozen. I'm not seeing an issue on my end. I don't know if it's with you all or um, <laughs> something else, but I'm gonna keep going and hope that uh, maybe it fixes itself, wherever the issue is. Okay, dear ones, um, that is it for the self-awareness portion, and now we will move on to empower. At the empower portion, we take whatever answer may have come up, our newfound perspective on our life, our, our story and experiences, and we set conscious intentions and affirmations. A singular intention sets the heart's disposition toward all of life, while the affirmation builds an energetic focus on specific areas of growth. For example, my intention is to greet each interaction with compassion, creating opportunities for healing and deeper connection. And affirmations to support that intention are, I am love, I am whole, I create safe spaces and I support the healing journey of others. <laughs> I see some people have left and it rejoined and it got much better, much better. So I hope um, that <laughs> whatever issues any of you are having will be rectified by maybe trying that. Sorry guys, but uh, everything on my end looks okay, so I don't know if we're overloading TikTok or not. <laughs> but um, after we get off of this live, I'll upload this to my YouTube channel. So if you want to revisit this at any time, um, you can find it there probably within an hour or two after the broadcast. Okay, dear ones, so this is the part where it gets a little fun because I like to take this opportunity after we've let go of everything that was on our mind and got reacquainted with our heart, with what our heart is longing for and uh, what our heart has to say about our life. Now we take that newfound awareness and connect it to our mind by using intentions and affirmations and naming it. So I invite you this time to share your intentions and affirmations in the comments. And what I've been doing in my lives each morning, I do this almost every morning. We have music and songs and affirmations and we start our day with gratitude so that we can start our day, start our day on purpose, in our own purpose, right? We can set our own intention and affirmation for each day so that we can actually create the life we want. Tend to find my calling in life to be happy. Mm. Also, there is um, a few recordings of other guided rise journaling sessions on my YouTube channel. If you guys uh, want to check that out at your own leisure, if you're coming in halfway or don't have uh, the focus or the time to be with us for this entire session. Allow myself to be respected. I will overcome my trauma. These are so beautiful. What else beautiful souls? To take care of myself. My intention is accepting that my loneliness is a part of me. Hmm. To love myself more. I will not only give, but also receive respect. I am strong. I am grace and happiness. Presently in my purpose with infinite love, yes. <laughs> what beautiful intentions. So 
this wouldn't be complete without me doing the energy mantra some very strong intentions and affirmations that were making the rounds right here on TikTok. Mm, they were written by, I think his username is Roll by Design 369 or Michael 7. And I do my own version of it. So here it is. Let's join in intention and affirmation. Because everything I need, I already have. And everything that I have is all that I need. Anything I desire, I will receive. Because my reality is created by me. I am successful, peaceful, free, and wise. I'm potential energy. And like a phoenix, I will rise. I am healthy and wealthy. Power and talent. I am mind and body. I am spirit. I am balanced. I am enlightened. I am fearless outside the realm of time. I'm a part of the all. And I am one with the divine. Oh, energy, energy, energy. Light of vibration to enter me. Mm, put my intention into the universe. Whatever happens is meant to be. Energy, energy, energy. Positive and negativity, the power to create what we will the divine spirit has gifted we. <laughs> we're energy, 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 yeah. We, we, we. <laughs> we're energy, 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 energy. Mm. Yes, I am the love of my life. I am talented, I am powerful. My intention is to be great for everyone, with everyone. Yes, dear one. I love seeing all of this. <laughs> powerful co-creation when we take care of ourselves we realign with our priorities and make the world a better place so I'm going to do these intentions a few more times I see someone say I need this every day <laughs> well I do this almost every morning the timing shifts as I'm traveling in my RV <laughs> but it's usually around seven or eight my local time which right now I'm on the west coast so hopefully you'll join me for morning live and we'll start our days something like this because everything we need we already have and everything that we have is all that we need anything we desire we will receive because our reality is created by we we are successful peaceful free and wise with potential energy and like a phoenix we will rise we are healthy and wealthy power and talent we are mind we're body we are spirit we are balanced we are enlightened we are fearless outside the realm of time we're a part of the all and we are one with the divine or oh, energy 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 a lie of vibration to integrate mm, put our intention into the universe whatever happens is meant to be energy 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 Positive and negativity, the power to create what we will, the divine spirit has gifted we. For energy, 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 yeah. Mm, yes, the power of positive thinking. Mm, oh, your heart chakra thanks me. <laughs> My heart chakra thanks you too, dear one. I am wonderful, I am love. We design our lives. I feel great. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to do this affirmation one more time. And then often in my morning lives, we'll do a little bit more music. But today I want to open it up to questions. So if you guys have any questions, you can start writing them in the comments and then I'll have my moderator, Bald and Sassy, recite some back to me that might uh, come up a lot, maybe worded a few different ways. And I'll do my best to answer those. Because mm. everything we need, we already have, and everything that we have is all that we need, and anything desire we will receive because our reality is created by we we are successful peaceful free and wise with potential energy and like a phoenix we will rise we are healthy and wealthy power and talent we are mind we are body we are spirit we are balanced we are enlightened we are fearless outside the realm of time we're a part of the all and we are one with the divine oh, energy 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 light vibration to enter we put our intention into the universe whatever happens is meant to be energy 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 positive and negativity the power to create what we will the divine spirit has gifted we 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 we, hmm. our energy, 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 yeah, we, 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 you and I, hmm, our energy, 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 we, 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 you and me, <laughs> our energy, 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 yeah, we, 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 you and me, hmm, our energy, 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 mm hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm, energy beautiful soul so let us direct our energy towards mental health well-being 
in an inner state of fulfillment and gratitude. Okay, so let's see. I'll take uh, some of these things off the screen here. And I want to see what questions were coming in. I still see some beautiful affirmations. I am enough. Yes. Okay, so before we get to questions, I see someone saying they had difficulty with the journal. So you can, re you can get the journal. If you go to my website, it's soulcalledjoel.com. It should be the first button. You can download the Rise Journal for free there. And then um, if you want to do this at your own leisure, there's also another button to, um, to do a seven-day Rise Journal challenge. It's the replays from last about six months ago when I did the Rise Journal every morning for seven days. And I think we had about 200 people Rise Journaling. And it was very transformative and it was so beautiful to witness that. Um, so I hope that helps. So, let's see. I think Bald and Sassy is sending me a few questions that were coming in. How do you not let negativity affect you? What a great question. And I think, um, I get that question a lot, worded in different ways, right? Sometimes people ask me, well, how do I stay so peaceful? And so, I want to preface this question with um, a quote that I heard, I read maybe 10 years ago, that really changed my life. And the quote was from Thich Nhat Hanh, a um, Nobel Prize winner. He said, all suffering comes from misunderstanding or not understanding. So, you were saying, how do you stay positive? How do you not let negative thoughts or negative things impact you or affect you? And I think the first step is maybe to recognize that we're human. <laughs> and um, we will be impacted. And allow that to be okay. Maybe take um, some of these unrealistic expectations off of ourselves to begin with, right? Because words have power, right? Especially when they come from someone that you trust or you care about or that you would hope to live up to a greater expectation. But they're also having their human experience. So that would be the first thing is not to not let them affect you, but to accept that that's a part of life, conflict and misunderstanding, which leads to suffering. So the question that I ask from that place after I've accepted that that is a part of our reality is how do I show up in moments of turmoil, inner turmoil, right? That may have been initiated or triggered by someone on the outside saying a thing or being a certain way or a life circumstance. And for me, that goes back to having some tools to self-regulate. It can be as simple as breathing. It could be as simple as this practice of meditative journaling or traditional journaling or meditation. Um, but mostly what I've come to is to recognize that compassion and love move me through those negative, heavy feelings more easily. So let's say if I have difficulty with my parents and they're not quite understanding my decisions and they come down with intensity. I may have a moment of deep hurt, right? That's natural and that's okay. Allow yourself to feel it. A lot of times we'll lead ourselves into anxiety and depression because we are refusing to feel it. Allow ourselves to really feel it because we're scared of it. And I understand that as well. But allow yourself a moment to feel it. I don't know if you guys saw, there's a TikTok, a lot of great educational TikToks going around saying that most therapists say it only takes, you know, less than 90 seconds to actually feel your emotions, just allow yourself to feel it. And then it's over. And so once it's over, right, like we did the release portion, it could be like that. Now you have space to go, well, what do, how do I want to respond? Not react, but respond. Like, what is my truth in my heart? If they said something mean, is that true? Well, no, it's not. 
because I know my value, I know my worth, I know I'm actually really great. And even if I didn't show up as my best version in that moment, I know that I can do better and I'll have compassion on myself. So then there's space for a disconnect between the emotion and your awareness. And then from that state, you can say, what can I learn about? What, is, what does that really mean, right? What's coming out of that person is some of their own hurt, maybe a projection of their own experience. And whether they're well-intended or um, not well-intended, that has more to do with them. The way they show up has more to do with them than it does me. That's always the story. We see the world as we are, right? That kind of a thing. And so from that place, even if you don't have access to them or a conversation or they can't show up to a conversation in the way that uh, you might desire within yourself you can start disconnecting um, maybe unhealthy expectations of not letting negativity affect you it's going to affect you we're human I mean we're social beings I'm not saying it will always affect you with the same intensity I think that's the thing and and that is relative to our own expectation and our own uh, ability to process and create spaces, healthy spaces, to process and navigate these feelings versus resistance. Resistance only leads to more resistance and hurt and tension and anxiety. I found that acceptance and openness allow those feelings to flow through more quickly and with more ease. So I hope that gives you something to think about in regards to working through negative experiences. Somebody's asking me to make another one tomorrow. You want to do rise journaling again tomorrow? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> oh, what made me start this kind of page? You know what? It's a great question. And my answer is Right? I imagine that many of us in here, if you're like me, you are an empath, right? Or an HSP, or I think there's a whole other name for it. I think it's like practice scanning, you know, it's more scientific, um, where we feel deeply, right? Or we take in a lot of energy or emotional exchanges. Uh, we take in the emotional exchange quite deeply. And so as a person who feels everything quite deeply, and not knowing what to do with it in a world where many ideas about what, you know, a man or a black man should be. I started searching for tools and av outlets and avenues for me to actually be who I am and love myself enough to just be it, regardless of whether people understand it, get it, or want to be a part of it. Because no matter what you do, there will always be those who resonate and those who don't. Um, so about 10 years ago, I actually had an idea for a social media platform that I was going to call Love Is dot dot dot. And the whole premise was that you can sign up, you can join, but the only thing you could post is what love is, right? So love is music or guitar or meditation or your art or your family. Um, but I wasn't, well, one, I don't have the technical savvy or resources to create a social network. <laughs> But um, at the time, 10 years ago, I wasn't really in a place where I could stand in my truth in a public setting as I can today, where the people are coming in not understanding what this is all about, sharing feelings, right? Because it's funny in this world, it's a lot easier to be mean than it is to be kind, right? Which is saying a lot about our, our social um, <laughs> contracts that we hold with each other. But... Um, Recognizing that those souls are just haven't um, done the work to show up in authentic kindness and love and compassion. So, in my own journey, as I healed a lot of my own trauma, a lot of my own wounds through this practice and meditation and music and long walks, walking meditation, right, all kinds of exercises, I um, began to share because like if I don't make myself known then how can we start to build a safe space for our hearts to heal and for our, our stories to be heard and for our journeys to be so supported by one another right so that's what brought me here Are there any 
more questions? Let's see. I don't know if uh, I got another message from LaShawn or not. I'm watching the comments. And if there's not, that's okay too. Why well, you found this an accident and stayed on purpose? <laughs> well, thank you. That's why we're here. Can I play a song? Sure. Because that's what I usually do in my lives. So for those of you asking, I don't. it looks like there's not many more questions. And that's actually good timing because maybe we'll play a song or two. For those of you that are asking about doing this again, I do, um, whether it's meditative journaling or music meditation or a collective uh, moment for gratitude and intention and affirmation setting through music, um, almost every morning I'm on and um, we do live similar to this. This one is a little bit more focused and uh, usually mine are a bit more flow state so I kind of go with um, the collective energy or whatever's on people's hearts in the live that morning. So I hope that you guys will join me. Um, I'll try and be sure to do one tomorrow morning, maybe at around seven Pacific time. And um, hmm. let's do a song called This one's called Meet in the Middle. one of Archie's favorites and um, this one came out of a moment of my own turmoil all right with that negativity that we experience in the world and wanting to create a space to meet in the middle with the one who I was struggling with at that time Well, it's been a while since we shared the same air But please don't think that I don't care I never claimed to have all the answers Please don't be deceived Cause I believe in you and I I believe in we Can we meet in the middle in our place after miles miles and miles of woe cause we want to know we've got some hope to come home to can we look for the center of our hearts after splinters and thorns at best in the time <laughs> cause we want to know We've got some hope to come home to We've never been this far before Broken into and washed ashore Is it a lie if a prayer goes and answered, or will we still believe? Cause I believe in you and I, I believe in we. Can we meet in the middle, in our place after miles, miles and miles of home? Cause we want to know, we've got some hope to come home. Can we look for the center of our hearts after splinters and dawns have passed their time? Cause we want to know we've got some hope to come home. Hmm. Yes, the we and wellness. have some music on iTunes. This one will be released um, pretty soon, in another month or so, along with a whole album of songs. 
about uh, 20 songs. They're all about love and liberation. So I hope that you guys will uh, follow me on all of those uh, platforms if you want to get that music. Cause I believe in you and I I believe in we Can we meet in the middle In our place after my own Miles and miles of home Cause we want to know We've got some hope to come home to Can we look for the center Of our hearts after splinters Dawns have passed their time Cause we want to know We've got some hope to come home to We want to know We've got some hope to come home to We want to know We've got some hope We want to know that we can grow Cause we are the hope That we are coming on <laughs> yeah, sing little bird. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, I got some friends here from Denton, Texas. My own stomping grounds. Oh, that song always brings you back to center. Me too. Hmm. So beautiful souls. Encore. All right, we're gonna do one more. This one will also be released on my uh, new album that'll be coming soon. Called Love and Liberation. And this one is called The Tables Will Turn. Uh, you guys want to watch this I'm going to post this on YouTube as soon as I get off of here so I um, if you fell in late and want to see what it's all about or go through the rise journal or even hear some of these songs again um, then you're welcome to go find it over there Take a moment, friend, to breathe in deep. Step back from the edge. The problems that you keep on what you are. The tables will turn. Just live for today. Don't wait for returns on all that love you pay. Sometimes you might get burned, oh, oh, the tables will turn. Mm, the tables will turn. So go get lost in hope, cause all you have to gain and pure light life without that pain oh, oh the tables will turn go and live your dreams give it all you've got don't waste time on schemes you only get one shot oh, oh. Tables will turn mm, The tables will turn mm, The tables will turn
matter what we are feeling, in the moment know that life will provide you another opportunity to move through it. And as we show up for ourselves, we can get grounded and centered and find more peace, better tools, and greater well-being. Just remember, dear ones, the tables will turn. Friend, I know, I don't know what you're feeling But I know Your healing is coming soon Just stay true to the love in your heart It will keep you from falling apart Tables will turn mm, The tables will turn mm, The tables will turn So go and leave your dreams Give it all you've got Don't waste time on schemes You only get one shot Oh, oh The tables will turn, baby Go get lost in hope Cause all you have to gain Is peace and pure light Life without that pain Oh, oh Tables will turn mm, The tables will turn Tables will turn. <laughs> hmm. The tables will turn, beautiful souls. Hmm. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for joining me for um, this learn on TikTok moment uh, for Mental Health Awareness Month in 2022 and allowing me and trusting me with your minds and with your hearts for this moment for meditative journaling. I hope that it's been uh, beneficial for you and I hope that uh, you will show up for yourself in every way you know how more frequently, maybe realign with making yourself a priority. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Sending you all so much love and light. So much kindness. <laughs> all right, dear ones. Well, if you want to see this, I'm going to post it to YouTube right after this so you can check it out. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the morning. I do something like this almost every morning. So, see you soon. Be well, beautiful souls. Peace.